Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria and today we're going to make this circle skirt look like this. Let's get into it. For this project, I will be using linen fabric, two inch horsehair, African print fabric, and crinoline. Let's start with some measurements. We're going to make a 720 circle skirt. So my dress form waist measurement is 31 and 1 4th. 360 plus 360 equals 720. That's two circle skirts. 31 and 1 4th divided by two circle skirts equals 15 and 5 8 That's 15.625 in inches. Then take the 15 and 5 8 plus two inches seam allowance, and that equals 17 and 5 8 After that, take the 17 and 5 8 and divide it by 6.28. The answer will be 2.81 in inches. Or if you want it in a fraction, it will be 2, 13 over 16. Or if you want it in centimeters, it will be 7.1. Next, we're going to calculate how much paper we need to make the pattern. So the waist is 7.1 centimeters. And the length of the skirt is 17 inches. That's 16 inches plus 1 inch. For a half inch seam allowance on the top of the skirt and a half inch seam allowance on the bottom of the skirt. So the total amount will be 19, 13 over 16. That's two 13 over 16 plus 17 inches, but you can round it off to 20 inches. Let's get some paper and fold it this way. One side is going to be 20 inches and the other side is going to be 20 inches. So the total length of paper you need is 40 inches. When it's folded, the width for me has to be 20 inches. That's the length of the skirt. Next up is the waistband. This waistband will be 31 and 1 fourth with a two inch wide band. There are two ways you can make a waistband. Here we have the one that you fold on the top. A lot of people like to use this one. This is the other way. The top is open and it has two pieces. One is for the fabric and the other is for the lining. You can sew both pieces together on top because it has seam allowance. I like using both methods, but the second one is really good because when a client tries on a skirt, I can see if I need to pinch some fabric from the waistband on top. Remember this guys, some people are smaller two inches up from their waist. So you don't want the waistband to have a gap on top. If I do have to take in some fabric at the top of the waistband, then it won't be a straight waistband anymore. It becomes a curved waistband. If you guys would like a video on how to do a curved waistband, let me know in the comments. I'm going to mark the measurements we did earlier to make the skirt. So the waist radius is 7.1 centimeters on top like this. Then put a half inch seam allowance on top of that waist radius. After that, I'm going to go down 16 and a half and make a circle. The 16 inches is for the skirt and a half inch is for the seam allowance. Then write your notes. Remember, you're going to cut two of these on the fabric. I will be using a 45 inch African print fabric. So I will need about two and a half yards of fabric to make the skirt. Next is the lining. For the lining, you're going to trace the skirt pattern on a new sheet of paper. As you can see, I didn't fold it. I just didn't want to waste the paper. The only difference is you're taking off one inch on the bottom of the lining. So the lining doesn't show. It has to be hidden. The next step is the crinoline. Cut two layers. They're going to be on top of each other. Cut them six and a half inches. The half is for the seam allowance. This is the half inch right here. Sew this half inch line right on top of this line. From here to here will be six inches. Go up one inch from the half inch hemming allowance so that the material doesn't touch your skin. This fabric should have two layers. I try to put a layer on top because it's always good to try new things to see the look. But I didn't like how it looked. The top needs to flow and the bottom needs to stick out. The top layer was making it too puffy. So I decided to unstitch it. Let's do some measurements. To find out how much crinoline fabric you need, you will have to measure all around the circle. However, you will notice that the whole circle has four panels. That's one, two, three, and four, which basically means 
that we don't have to open the paper up to measure all around. We can just measure one panel all around like this. As you can see, I have 17 and a half. And since the four panels is the same size, we just multiply that amount by four. So for me, it's 17 and a half times four. Next is how tight you want your gathers. I like to use the three to one ratio. I don't use anything less than a three to one ratio because the gathers will be loose and I want them to be full. Let's find out how much fabric we need. When you go to a fabric store, this fabric is either 54 inches wide or 60 inches wide. The first step is to take the 60 inches and fold it. Now it becomes 30 inches. Since it's folded, that makes two layers. That's exactly how we want it. One yard is 36 inches, right? So we need to make strips that are six and a half inches. I made this picture so you can understand it better. Each yard can make four strips. So six and a half times four equals 26 inches. As you can see, the last one is not six and a half inches. It's four inches, which is too short. Remember the width is 30 inches. So 26 inches plus four inches is 30 inches. But I'm not going to use the four inches that's left because it's too short. I'm just going to make more of the six and a half inch strips. But you could use it, it's not a big deal. I just like my strips to be even. Now let's do the math. So far we got 17 and a half times the four panels and that's 70 inches. But we are making two circle skirts, which makes the 720 circle skirt. So it's 70 inches times two circle skirts and that equals 140 inches. Next, take the 140 inches and times it by three, which is how full you want your gathers. And that equals 420 inches. The 420 inches is 12 yards. You will see that there are 12 pink circles. Every six and a half strip is one yard. There are 12 of them. So that means you need three yards of crinoline fabric. Some people been asking me, how do I make my clothes look so professional inside? Well, I use a serger so that the inside looks pretty and clean. Sometimes I do French seams, but most of the time I use my serges. This is one of them. I love this one. It's fast. It has different types of stitches. It gives you an option if you want to use the blade or not. And it's a cover stitch machine too. If you would like to check it out, I will leave the link in the description below. For the waistband, I put interfacing on the main fabric. After that, sew the two inch horse hair. To make sure the fabric is even all around, I use a tailor's chalk. Also, when you sew this, make sure you sew it on the wrong side of the lining, the side that has the seam allowance. And the right side of the lining has to be touching your skin. The next step is to sew your zipper on the main fabric, then put both of the skirts together and sew the waistband on top. From there, sew the lining to the zipper. So here is the before picture. Ew, boring. And here is the after picture. Oh, wow, sexy mama. <laughs> and this is the back with the invisible zipper. If you guys got some value in this video, then give this video a like, okay guys? I also made a video on how to make a pleated skirt right here. If you wanna watch it, click on the screen right here and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to practice, practice, practice. Bye everybody.